Okay, in this section we're going to be talking about facets. Facets allow you to separate out a plot for each variable in a categorical variable. And you can construct a plot with multiple facets by using the facet wrap function. This will produce a row of subplots, one for each categorical variable. Now the number of rows can uh, be specified with an additional argument. So if we go back to our standard plot here, we can have our aesthetics, we'll have uh, displacement, we'll have highway, and then let's also add in a geom point, and we're also going to add in a facet wrap. Okay, and then this is going to be, we want to specify them out by class. And so let me blow this up just so it gets a little bit bigger for us so we can see. And we see here that this is actually expanded out for each of our uh, car classes. So for our two-seaters, our compacts, our mid-size, our uh, minivans, our pickups, our subcompacts, and our SUVs. And this is uh, very useful when you're trying to check out these subplots. You can also this also gives you a great idea of how things stand. And everything's not just uh, thrown up onto the screen in one point. Uh, we can also look at uh, using a geom grid. Now, when you use geom grid uh, to facet your data, you do that by more than one categorical variable. Okay, note that uh, we use a tilde in our facet functions. Um, now, this uh, with the facet uh, grid, the facet grid, the variable to the left of the tilde will be represented in the rows, and the variable to the right of the tilde will uh, represent uh, the columns. Uh, so we're going to do our normal ggplot, mpg, aes, and then we'll have displacement in the x, uh, highway in our y. We're going to do geom uh, point, and we're going to add in a facet grid. And this time we're going to have year, and we're also going to have uh, cylinders. So now we can see here that we have our our subplots, we have our displacement on the x-axis, we have our highway miles per gallon on the y-axis, but furthermore, each of the plots, here we have the number on the, uh, the, the uh, x-axis, okay, we, they've been split around the rows, or our, uh, they've been split actually by the years, okay, so we have 1999 and 2008, and then we also have each of the columns split up uh, by the number of cylinders each car possesses. Okay, so this next section we're going to be talking about labels and annotations. Now, textual labels and annotations, uh, not just on the plot itself, but on the axes and on uh, geometry and the legend. Okay, we're going to be able to change all of those. And they're an important part of making a plot understandable and communicating information. Uh, even though not uh, an explicit part of the grammar of graphics, um, we uh, ggplot does make it easier to add these annotations. Now you can make and add titles and x-axis labels using uh, a chart, okay, using the labs function. Please make sure it's the labs function, L-A-B-S, okay, and not the labels, which is a different function in R, okay. So let's go through, um, I need to make a little bit more space here because our example is going to be a little bit large. So uh, ggplot, we're going to grab the mpg data set. We're looking at our aesthetics. X is going to be displacement. Y is going to be our highway. We're going to have a color, which is going to be our class. And then we're going to add in a geom point layer. We're going to add in now our labs for our label. Okay, so our title is going to be a uh, fuel efficiency uh, by engine power. Uh, then we're going to have a subtitle and this is going to be uh, fuel economy data from 1999 and 2008 for uh, 38 popular uh, car models. Now our x-axis label will be 
engine power and this is by liters of displacement and then we have our Y label which is going oops, our Y label which is going to be fuel efficiency and this is going to be uh, miles per gallon and then we're going to have our color and this is going to be by our car type again that's a, that's a lot to see and so I, I'm gonna blow this up just a little bit larger again now we can see a very well-rounded plot this has our uh, a nice titles okay that are very informative it's not now just a uh, color label but actually tells us what this actually is this is our car types and we don't have just uh, blank uh, generic uh, variable names we actually have the definition of each of the variables that are represented on the X and Y axes now another possible uh, thing for us to do okay is to add labels to the plot itself now these can be done by adding geom text or geom label and this effectively you're plotting an extra set of data uh, to add to the variable names now for this we actually need a uh, the uh, dplyr library okay and again this is this was already imported but I want to make sure to make this nice and clean okay so best in class okay we want mpg and then we also want to have what a group our group by is going to be from the class we want to filter by row number we're going to make them descend by highway and we want this uh, where they're equal to one so now once we have a little bit of our cleaning data done we're going to do uh, add a ggplot mpg our aesthetics are going to be uh, displacement and highway we're going to add a geom point now this is going to be uh, we're going to add an aesthetic for color specifically that's going to be with our class then we're also going to add in a geom label okay and this data is actually going to be our best in class and then our aesthetic for this is going to be label is equal to model and alpha uh, alpha here is actually setting the transparency of our uh, plots so let's take a look and see here now we see I'm gonna let me make this just a little bit bigger for us now we see here that there is a, a great deal of information even added okay now we can see that this uh, particular label here is a Corvette this is an Ultima uh, etc okay and again these are only going to be the best in each from each class now notice we do have a little bit of issue here where things are overlapping and we can take care of that in a couple different ways one is going to be using a, a new uh, a new library okay and this is the uh, uh, grepl library or gg repl if you want to do it that way now I am not sure if I have this on this computer but we'll take a look and see okay so notice here I do not have that package so I'm going to install packages and this is going to be the GG REPL and this may take a moment for you to install on your system just give it some time so let me clear this out and uh, now we can really get started so library uh, G REPL and then now we're going to do our ggplot, uh, our mpg, our aesthetics again are going to be our displacement, our highway miles. Then we're also going to add a geom point with our aesthetic again is going to be our, our color is going to equal class. Then we're going to add a geom text uh, REPL and our data here is again going to be our best best in class and then our uh, aesthetics here are going to be label 
and we want this to equal our model. Again, there's not a whole lot of difference whoops, in the output, but this does allow this to be just a little bit clearer without those boxes. And this is, this is completely up to your own taste. So overall, okay, we've covered a lot of the introductory basics to data visualization that you're going to be using throughout uh, the rest of this series. Uh, now, please do not feel worried if you are feeling overwhelmed, okay? This is completely natural and it is okay. Take it one day at a time and keep moving forward. Practice as much as you can in the time that you have available to you and in no time you're going to be a data expert. Alright, thank you for watching this section of the series and I hope to see you again.